Good morning, Hannah and Caleb. Hi, Miss Joe. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Kids Connect. So glad that you can be back with us again this week. I hope you had a wonderful Easter Sunday, and I hope you had a chance to go on our website and had a chance to enjoy the virtual egg hunt that we had posted on there. So, um, so glad that you're back. And so today, with the help of Hannah and Caleb, we'll be talking about the fact that Jesus is God's Son. Let's say the Lord's Prayer before we get our lesson started. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Like you and your parents, Jesus and God are like each other. Sometimes we like to be like our mom or dad. Hannah and Caleb, can you share one way you like to be like your mom or dad? Well, I want to be kind, just like my dad. Well, I want to be like my mom because she's such a great driver and she's such a great cook and she makes every day so special for me and Caleb. Thank you for sharing that. Those are definitely good things to imitate. I had great parents and especially I would love to be able to imitate how meek and humble my dad was. He was a man of few words, but when he spoke, you always wanted to listen. In John today, we see where Jesus is a lot like his dad, God. Hannah and Caleb, would you share in the reading of our scripture today in John 10, 22 to 42? It was the time for the Jewish festival called Hanukkah. This happened in Jerusalem. It was winter. Jesus was walking in the yard of God's great house under a place with a roof. The place was called Solomon's porch. The Jewish leaders stood around him. They said to him, we want to know who you really are. When will you tell us? If you are the Messiah, tell us clearly. Jesus answered, I have already told you, but you do not believe. The things that I do by my Father's authority show you who I am. But you refuse to believe, because you are not my sheep. My sheep recognize my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them life forever with God. They will never die. Nobody can ever take them away from me. My Father has given them to me. He is greater than all things. Nobody can ever take my sheep out of my Father's hand. My father and I are one person. Then the Jewish leaders picked up stones again to throw at Jesus so they could all kill him. Jesus said to them, I have done many good things. The father sent me to do them and I have shown them to you. Which of those good things will make you want to kill me with stones? The Jewish leaders answered, we do not want to kill you because of any of the good things that you have done. We want to kill you because you are speaking against God. You are only a man but you are saying that you are God. Jesus answered them, It says in your own books of God's law that God said, You are gods. God called the people to whom he spoke gods. And you know that the Bible remains always true. So when I said that I am God's son, why am I wrong? The Father chose me for himself, and he sent me into the world. So you should not say that I am speaking bad things against God. If I am not doing my father's work, do not believe me, but I am doing his work. You should believe that work. Even if you do not believe me, you should believe the things I do. Then you will know certainly that the father is in me, and you will know that I am in the father. Again, the Jewish leaders tried to take hold of Jesus, but he got away from them. After that, Jesus returned across the Jordan River He went to the place where John had early baptized people. Jesus stayed there. Many people came to him. They said to each other, 
John did not do any miracles, but everything that he said about this man was true. And in that place, many people believed in Jesus. So in this scripture, we're hearing Jesus say, if I don't do the things my father does well and good, don't believe me. But if I am doing them, put aside for a moment what you hear me say about myself and just take the evidence of the actions that are right before your eyes. Then perhaps things will come together for you and you'll see that not only are we doing the same thing, we are the same, father and son. There are people who want to know about Jesus and Jesus tells us, I'm God's son. He tells us this all the time. His actions speak louder than words, right? The more we learn about Jesus and all that he can do, we can see that he is God's son. We learn and know by what he says and what he does. Hey, Caleb and Hannah, can you share a fact about Jesus that leaves no doubt that he is the son of God? Through the power of God, Jesus healed sick people. He performed miracles. He provided food for many. He helped the blind to see. Jesus brought people back to life. Jesus did so many amazing things, and he still does today and every day. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how we prove things we can't see. Okay, Caleb, I have given you a cotton ball. I want you to drop that cotton ball. It dropped to the floor, right? Did you see gravity? No, I didn't see any gravity. That's right, you couldn't see gravity. Okay, Hannah, would you take a couple of cotton balls and blow them out into the air? Thank you, Hannah. Were you able to see the air that propelled those cotton balls? No, I didn't see any air. That's right, Hannah and Caleb. We can't see gravity nor air. But when we see things fall or blow in the wind, that is proof to us that there is gravity and air at work, right? In the same way, Jesus' works in our lives proves to us that Jesus is God's Son. Okay, let's take a moment and share just one way Jesus has worked in our lives to prove he is God's son and has God's power. Hannah and Caleb, you go first, then I will share one as well. Well, I've seen Jesus because we try to be helpful to our neighbors. Well, I've seen Jesus in our family because even when it's difficult, we try to be kind to each other. Oh, those were great. I know Jesus was in the mix of it all when the church hired me to work with the elementary children in planting seeds of faith. Thank you, Jesus. And now I'm going to pray for us, if we will bow our heads. Dear Jesus, we are your sheep. We recognize your voice, and we know you give us real and eternal life. Jesus, we know you and the Father are one heart and mind. Let us mimic your ways in everything we do. In Christ's name we pray, amen. As we close today, I encourage you to look at the different ways you see Jesus working in your lives. It would be super if you would share those with us on the FPC Facebook. <laughs> Through every storm of life I know you're by my side, so I am holding on to your promises. You are the God who holds my future, all my dreams, so I am holding on. You never let go of me. You gave me hope when hope was all but gone. A second chance to sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see When you rescued me, rescued me You showed the way when there was no way out Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt You made me strong when I was weak You rescued me, rescued me Bye.
This has been a super morning with you. Don't forget to check out the craft of the week. We miss you and we love you. Jesus bought. <laughs> Jesus bought. <laughs> Jesus bought people at the store. <laughs> Stop. Okay, and you sit up. Take a deep breath. Everybody through your nose. <laughs> and you take a deep breath through your nose. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Let's do it again. See if you can do it again. Maybe I'll. Jesus brought people back to life. <laughs> Come on, Skywalker. That was good. Come yeah, on. Jesus brought people back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi.